Hello YouTubers and welcome to today's DIY project. Notice my pool is not crystal clear at all and it's been open for over a week. It's been seven years since I've changed my sand filter and I think it's about time. What do you think? Most pool places suggest to change the sand filter every three to five years. And that's most likely why my pool looks so cloudy. So let's get started. Notice my Hayward sand filter. Let's take a look at our chart. Our chart says that this sand filter holds 250 pounds of sand, five bags of pool sand, since each bag is 50 pounds each. Make sure your pump filter is in off position before we start to do our project. Next, let's open up our pump and release the pressure. Then we open up our drain from our sand filter. We have to do this quickly so I don't make a mess in the pump house. That's why I've got my hose ready to catch the water. And while the water is draining, we'll undo the collar on the sand filter. You can use your Phillips screwdriver for this one. Together so we don't lose it. Next, let's remove the valve head. You may have to wiggle it a little bit until it comes off. Okay, take a look inside over here. There's the sand right here. Next, we'll shop back all that sand out of the filter. Now, as you get closer to the bottom, you'll notice 10 fingers. Be very careful not to break them. Here's a better view of those 10 fingers I was talking about. Be very careful around them. I can finally move the barrel outside of the pump house and give it a good wash. Now the inside is all cleaned up and ready for our new sand. Now we're going to tape up this pipe hole so no sand will get in. Alright, here's our five bags of sand, 250 pounds altogether. Alright, safety first, wear your mask, to the silica sand. Cut the corner of each bag and slowly pour it in. It's 
also very important to keep that pipe in the center of the hole. Okay, just make sure you readjust this pipe to make sure it's centered because this has to go right here to the bottom of this. Right here, it's got to match this thing right here. So make sure it's centered right there. Now, let's reinstall our drain cap. Next, let's put water just above the sand level. Then, I wipe off extra sand around the head valve and also around the neck of the sand filter. Then I inspect my o-ring to see if there's any cracks or fray. Looks good to me. Next we use Jax 327 lubricant to lubricate our o-ring. Now it's time to take off the tape from our pipe. Next we line up the pipe with the mouth of the head valve. Just give it a wiggle as you push down. Then position your head valve towards your inlet pipes. Next we install our collar. Now let's install our two bolts, but we have to tighten alternating so we give equal pressure. So we tighten the right side, then we go to the left side, then we tighten to the right side again, and then to the left. Then finally we give it zero torque on the right side and zero torque on the left side. Next, I lubricate the o-ring in one of my connector pipes. Okay. Then I install my connector. Then, I lubricate and install my second connector. <coughs> now, I give my filter basket a good cleaning. After it's cleaned, I put it back in its place and fill it with water, but do not overflow it. Now let's install our lid and tighten them both up. Then let's put in backwash position. Okay. 
Now turn the pump on. So we can backwash it for about two minutes. Notice our dirty water. It's just cleaning off all that dust that was in our silica sand. Notice it's starting to clear up already. Okay, turn off the pump again and turn to the rinse position. Turn the pump on again and rinse for about 30 seconds. Notice how clear our water is. Okay, turn off the pump one more time. And finally, put it to filter position. Then turn the pump back on for the final time. Next, let's check for leaks. Everything looks good. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Take a look, my pool is crystal clear once again.